Hi everyone, I'm um, so back with week 46 and this is part one. So this is the 13th of November until the 20th of November and this is exciting because we're off to the Maldives in this one. Um, so we booked the Maldives back in January, you saw it in week one of my project life, um, but we didn't tell anyone. Um, we didn't tell any of our family and friends and everything like that because we just didn't want to get disappointed. Um, we didn't want to say we we're going to the Maldives and have this big lovely holiday to look forward to and then it got cancelled due to Covid uh, because we didn't know how it was going to be coming into the winter. Um, but we managed to go and it all went smoothly and it was the most amazing holiday I've ever had. Um, it just ticked every expectation and more than we ever thought we had of the Maldives and it was just beautiful. We had really good weather and yeah, I would highly recommend it to anyone that wants to go. It is as beautiful as everyone says it is. It's unbelievably beautiful um, and it's just there's something about being put on a little island in the middle of the sea that you can't see anything. It's really relaxing actually, even though at first it scared me but... Um, it was just, it was unbelievable. So highly recommended destination. Um, so I'm using the Echo Park Away We Go collection and it just matched really nicely because it was quite light colours and because there's a lot of blue um, going on because of the sea and the sky, it just matched it really nicely. Um, and yeah, I just I hadn't used it yet. So I really wanted to start using it. It had like palm trees and, you know, all the typical sort of holiday um stickers and stuff to go with it so it was it was really good to use um so i'm going to use that um hot air balloon one for my title card it's got a nice big space that i can put obviously my weeks dates and some bits on the bottom and then the first few photos are just sort of getting into the island and stuff so um, i'm going to use one of the filler cards that says fly in the friendly skies just on one of the um landscape pocket pages and then the the photo that's going to go above that is actually a picture of our seaplane. So we actually paid a little bit extra to go by seaplane. I think you could um, pay to go on a domestic flight um, from Marley Airport to the, the closer airport and then a speedboat. But I'm not a massive fan of boats. Um, I will go on them, but if I can choose to go on a seaplane, I'll go on a seaplane. <laughs> um, and one, it's a, one of those things that I really wanted to experience whilst in the Maldives as well. So that was a picture of that um so i'm using just these cheap pastel color uh six by six paper pad from craft sensations just to go on the back of the photo just because it matched the colors um and then on top of those photos i'm just going to put some sunglasses and it's uh, what i like about this sticker sheet it's got cute little like dotted well lined arrows um and i just thought it was quite cute so i just put a little arrow just pointing to the seaplane on that one and then the large photo that's going to go on the right hand side is a picture of the view from the seaplane um it was unbelievable i was a bit nervous about it because our our journey down into the maldives was a little bit bumpy um but and i worried the seaplane wasn't going to handle that very well but because it flies lower and for some reason it just didn't seem to get that bumpy it was just really cool just to look out the window and yeah you saw all these lovely views and it went really really quick so it was like a 35 minute journey 40 minute journey um we were really tired though so we were just looking forward to getting to our beds but um yeah just to look out the window and see those views were incredible so again i just pack it on some paper and because i didn't really block too much of the photo out um, i just put a little heart at the top and then a camera and one of these little arrow stickers with the words and it says enjoy the journey which we did. So yeah, so that was getting to the Maldives. Now we were really, really tired. Um, we had an overnight flight from Heathrow and that was 10 hours overnight. So we took off at 6 p.m. So we was tired anyway because we should have been going to bed a bit later on. Um, and then we landed and then we had to wait for the seaplane because they sort of come in like buses or like trains. You you know, you have to wait for a certain one. It's not like they're, they're just there to pick you up wherever you land. You've got to wait um, for it to fill. So obviously they they take people that are going on the same you know accommodation as you but there also might be couples that are going or people going um to other resorts close by so it does actually work like a bit like a bus um where they come and go from different resorts so you you, you take off and land um on the way back we actually did that so on the way back we actually landed twice uh, and picked people up so it's just an odd thing to think it's so easy just to land a little seaplane but I suppose you can land wherever you want when you've got you know the paddles to on the water anyway so the next photo down um is going to be a picture of our water villa um so again because we're going to only go to the Maldives once it's not our normal type of holiday we normally um 
do lots and lots of things. We've normally got loads booked. We don't normally just sit and stay on a beach. Um, so it was a bit of a different one for us. But because we were doing it and it was our only going to be our only trip, um, we splurged a little bit and bought the water villa. Well, actually, I bought it out of the money that I saved throughout the pandemic because obviously we didn't do anything. Um, and I actually worked quite a bit through the pandemic. So the money that I saved, I used for the water villa, um, which was well worth it. It was absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, it was so spacious. And just to wake up to the views of the ocean every day and then outside on our balcony, um, you could walk down into the sea itself. And there was just beautiful shells and... Um, sing rays and fish and just everything so it was just incredible and joe really enjoyed himself and it was just one of those lifetime things so i didn't do much on that one i just put a little key and it says relax obviously because it was the hotel key so i just um backed it on some paper there and put a little sticker on there i didn't want to block out too much of the water villa and then the last photo that's going to go on the left hand side is a picture of me on our balcony um i said the water the water was beautiful but the the weather was amazing um we did get a few little rain spots um but it didn't dampen anything if anything it cooled it down a little bit it wasn't too muggy but you could definitely feel when it needed to rain um but with that one i just put some palm trees and flowers at the bottom with some washi tape the washi tape that i'm using is actually from paper chase it's um it came with like a peter rabbit collection which i randomly bought but i like the blue and yellow sort of stripe one that came with it so i think that's why i bought it um, but I just put some washi tape at the bottom and put some flowers and palm trees at the bottom of that one. Um, and then that's that. And then the only other bits I put in is obviously two filler cards. So I use one to use as a journaling card and it says we are here. And it's got like a really nice yellow border. Um, and then I use a portrait filler card that says welcome to paradise um, about it. So that's obviously perfect for this um layout so it worked out really nicely with the collection um as i said uh, with all the palm trees and the nice colors and stuff so um yeah it was really good to use some of this collection up i might use it in my main travel album i'm not too sure i haven't got to the maldives yet so um i'll have to see what collections i'm going to use if i'm going to use any i don't always use sort of my american project life collections with my actual travel scrapbooks because i've got so much other stuff that i'm wanting to use that i don't think to pull out some of these collections um but i might do depending on what i decide closer to the time when i come around to doing the maldives um so yes that's all of the cards put in so for my title card i'm just going to use these alphas which are actually from neon sheep and they're like a purpley and blue um ombre effect they're like plasticky and um, there's not many of them um but I wasn't too sure about the purple, but there is a little bit of purple in the collection, but I wanted the blue. And luckily there was actually the the words, not words, the letters I wanted to use and numbers were actually more blue. So that was good. So I got to use that. So then I just put week 46 and then I stamp um, the 13th of November to the 20, 20th and put a little geo tag in the middle. And I'm going to use one of these two by two cards um, just to fill that space at the bottom. And it matches the colours and stuff and it just says see the world. So I just put that at the bottom there. Um, and as I said, I just stamped my date and put I put a yellow geotag in the middle just to separate the two dates. And that's pretty much it for this week. Um, so I love looking back at my travel bits um, in the album. As I said before, I do sometimes struggle to know which ones to put in, what photos to put in. But it always works out quite nicely. I just try to put the main highlights in. Um, and obviously everything else will go in my main travel scrapbook when I get round to doing it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks. Bye.